rather gorgeous specimen here in the Museum of Natural History and Anthropology in Santa Cruz de Tenerife. And this is a meteorite from the Sahara. It's a Conrad meteorite. We only can see the um, crust, the black melting crust. But there's a tiny chip missing here so we can peek inside. And um, it's a rocky uh, meteorite. And the Sahara is quite good for finding them because uh, the um, beige colored sand allows these dark lumps to be spotted rather easily. So here we go. This is a close up of the melted crust. This is a rather large lump. There's actually another piece missing. Let's see whether I can get this. Here we are. I guess that's as good as it gets. So, lovely rock and chondrite, that is the most primitive material, the most primitive types of meteorites. We believe that uh, they gave rise to all the other types of meteorites once planets formed, once differentiation within planets set in, then the metal was segregating downwards while the more rocky material, the silicate rich phases were staying afloat or migrating upwards and therefore giving a layered structure. Pretty much what we see in the earth today with a metal core, a silicate mantle and a uh, silicate and alkali upper crust.